the vice president of Senior Connection, and she always brings clarity to complicated issues surrounding Medicare, et cetera. So today, we're looking at Social Security deductions for premiums. Yes. What does that mean? Well, some people have their Medicare Advantage or their prescription drug plans um, premium deducted from Social Security. It's kind of like their Part B premium is automatically taken out. They have these other plan premiums taken out. So it's out of sight, out of mind. They don't have to worry about it. Do you have to do that through the Social Security Administration? Well, you can do it through your plan when you're enrolling okay. on that particular plan. The problem happens when Social Security doesn't deduct the premiums. And that's exactly what has happened right now. In February, there was a glitch in the Social Security system and it affected every single person that has their Medicare Advantage or prescription drug plan premiums deducted from Social Security. What happened? Well, we don't know what happened with their glitch, but the plans give you a 90-day grace period. Well, the plan stopped deducting in February and we've now hit that 90 days. So if you receive a bill for your plan, pay the premium. Uh, because we have people that are losing their coverage. They're not able to get it reinstated because of this back payment that's due. And they're not going to, Social Security is not going to backdate the deductions. They'll start from now because they're getting it corrected. But if you receive a premium payment for your plan, you need to pay it. So there's no grace period because it wasn't it yeah. wasn't the clients. It wasn't their fault, right. but no, they're still being they're still being penalized for it, and that doesn't mean they can't get it back. But they're going to have to fight for it. It's not going to be an automatic. If they lapse, they're going to have to fight for it to come back into effect. And, and okay, what's the process of doing that? Well, they'll need to contact their plans to get it re reinstated. And what do they need? What do, is, is it like signing up again? Uh, yeah. So everything you needed to sign up the first well, time. Well, it's, it's going to be getting the premium set up again. They're just going to have to give them that information to deduct it from Social Security again. Although Social Security says they are taking care of getting that reinstated. But I would follow up with your plan to verify that it is in fact happening. Or just start paying for your premium directly. Don't have it taken out of Social Security. Uh, we honestly... We don't recommend our clients to have premiums deducted from Social Security because of the fact that it can take two to three months for them to start or stop a deduction. So you've got a lot of overlap on your premium payments. And then when you have a, a system glitch like this, uh, it can mess everything up. Well, as we've seen now, I mean, this, yeah. is, this is a testament to the fact that you just, what you just said, that's exactly. a problem. Exactly. And it can happen when you're deducting premiums from your bank account, but most people, when they have premiums coming out of their bank account, are actually looking at the deduction statements every month. Well, with Social Security deductions, almost never, nobody looks at that. You know, they just assume the money is being taken care of and they don't ever pay attention to it. So there's, there's less follow-up on the client's pers perspective or on their half. So yeah. the best thing, is, is there a place they can go online or is there a pamphlet or a document they can get to review what you said and all the rest of the stuff that goes with this? Their company, uh, their particular plan will have the information. I went onto the Social Security website to see if they had released a, anything in the press or did a, a blog post or anything. I couldn't find anything on the Social Security website about it. Wow. I know. But every company that I went to, they had a posting about it affecting their members. So they're getting the information out there. But I couldn't find anything on Social Security that it could just be there. So contact your plan. Give your plan a call and find out if you've been affected by it or if you need to pay your premiums. Thank you, Gina. Yes. Once again, absolutely. for bringing clarity. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this table. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Senior Connection.